watching as we build these awesome Lego knockoff dinosaur sets and set them up in this Jurassic World Volcano Dinosaur Zoo. Wow. Keep watching. Wow, guys. Great to see you again. Today, I have eight Kogo. Lego compatible sets that are directly from China. Let's check this out. So uh, if you watched my earlier video, I did four of these and today I'm gonna do the other four, but I will show you speed builds of all eight of them. So there you can see four of the different dinosaurs. Here they have all of the different dinosaurs and the other four here that were continued. And then you have eight boxes of lego compatible dinos so we're gonna go ahead and check out these four like i said the other four uh i did the episode right before this one so let's go ahead and check these out so uh this is another kogo one this is it looks like it's the carnotaurus so bag of Legos and a set of instructions I'm just gonna show you one of the set of instructions because they're all very similar well, there we go okay cool uh, let's check out what was in the other boxes though really quick okay so then we've got this one this one is a Pachycephalosaurus so, bag of Legos and a set of instructions. This one is a uh, Triceratops. So, there's a good look at the back of it. And once again, bag of Lego pieces and a set of instructions. And our final one is a uh, Pteranodon. Woohoo, that looks cool. Legos and a set of instructions and here is a look at the back of the box Oh, and also here's a look at the back of the box for the Triceratops Okay guys, uh, I am really pleased by the quality of these Kogo uh, Lego compatible sets that was spelled C-O-G-O -O. It's a Chinese company and They are similar to Lego uh, I mean, I'm not really sure if you'd call it like a Lego knockoff, maybe more like a dino block. So, I mean, it, they look really cool though. Uh, well, actually they look a little generic, but they are really cool dinosaurs. And you get eight individual boxes in one big box. And then when you're done, you could combine all of them and make a huge dinosaur, which would be this big fire breathing one over there so uh anyways if it's something you're interested in i'll put a link below the video but our first one is the triceratops really cool looking guys uh this guy's tail moves up and down he's got a little spike on the tail you know i love the way they do the legs they have a piece that goes in here so the legs turn really nice and smoothly but they're strong enough to hold the figure up without bending inward. So uh, all four of these legs are made the same way. And then this one, uh, he's got the most complex head. But his head does move and lock into different positions there. So you could have him charging. Uh, you can see he does have the three horns on the front here. The eyes are just stickers so it's not a glass eye or anything like that so really cool dino have the Paracephalosaurus. So this guy's tail moves all the way up and down and it does also move on the back part there, locks into different positions. 
His legs will turn almost 360 degrees. It does hit over there. And they will turn at the knee joint too. So if you want him like in a standing or a crouching position. But I like the fact that he is able to stand on his own. His arm is cool. Uh, okay, they do move individually. Let me see if I push it together. Okay, uh, one of the other ones... Uh, when I turned one arm, the other one did too. But this one's got really long arms there. And they do turn at the elbow there. So you could have the arms going up or down. Uh, yeah, sometimes they pop out like that. But it's not too bad. I mean, I, a lot of these cheaper sets have been a lot worse than that. And then he's got the Paracephalosaurus crown on his head there. So, really cool looking, simple to put together, Lego compatible set. have a cool pterodactyl which is also freestanding he does have the smaller legs but uh, his wings do move you could fold his wing all the way out like that fold it out or up and they do move up and down sometimes it does pop out like that uh, that's what you run into with these cheaper sets they're not as stable as Lego but you know for knockoff sets the, these are probably one of the best quality ones I've seen in how it goes together and uh, playability wise. So the neck goes all the way down and you could also turn the head right up over here. And this one also does have an opening mouth so that's a nice feature again. Sticker eyes. So really cool looking pterodactyl. We have what is supposed to be the Dilophosaurus, but it doesn't really seem to be because there is no double crown on his head. But uh, I looked at the package, this is supposed to be a Dilophosaurus. So anyways with this, the tail does move up and down and the back part of the tail here will move up and down also. The uh, legs move really nice and smooth, almost 360 degrees until they hit the arm. And they do swivel and lock into different positions here at the knee joint. And the foot itself will go all the way up and down. The arms are small like the T-Rex arms, but they do move pretty much 360. And then the head moves up and down and this one's mouth does not open which is kind of disappointing because a few of them the mouth does open and it just makes the action play with the dinosaur a lot funner go ahead and set up our dinosaurs in this bleak park that looks like it's totally dying what does this remind you of 
Yes, it does. Jurassic World 2, The Fallen Kingdom. When the volcano explodes and kills everything in its path. So we're going to put the dinosaurs in this park, but then we're going to have to rescue them before they get destroyed. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and start setting these guys up. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at them in the park. So let's enjoy this park while we have it because it probably won't be for very long. <laughs> Not with that volcano exploding. Okay, and then to join our dinosaurs fleeing the exploding volcanoes, I have some of my favorites. There we have a huge vintage T-Rex here. Bursting out of the gate, I have a dragon, Indominus Rex. And I have another really cool one I got from uh, the Lego Dino set. A big, huge green T Rex. Well, actually, no, this one's from uh, Australia. This one is from the Lego Dino set. A big, huge T Rex here. And then I have an yellow Indominus Rex, which I put in the back there. And our dying dinosaur park is complete. Okay guys, so here is our zoo all set up. And that was a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. And if you want to see more fun videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell next to it to be notified when I make new ones. And also, I do have over a thousand videos guys, the majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Power Rangers, and Lego. Wow, they are awesome. So go ahead, check out my playlist, or wait till this video ends. You guys are totally awesome, and I will see you tomorrow. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.